Well, many of you are expecting visitors this holiday season. And if you're looking for a way to take your party to the next level, well, we have you covered. Yeah, joining us with some great appetizers utilizing local foods is Becky Ellis from BubblyBee.net. Thank you so much for coming on. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy yeah. Thanksgiving to you. So you say we should be starting it off right right away when our guests come, right? Yes, absolutely. Um, be ready for them, but I don't know about you all, but I haven't even started getting ready for Thanksgiving. And Thank I'm, you. Okay. Okay. I'm tired already, though. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I know okay. I have that all this work ahead so of me. so much better. <laughs> yes, it does. Okay. Um, but appetizers should be um, quick. They should be just fun to eat. We don't want to fill up everybody before they've right. gotten to the big feast. Mm -hmm. And when I'm busy with the roasting a turkey and doing all the sides, I don't want to fiddle with a bunch of appetizers. Right. True. So I found all kinds of local foods, and local foods anymore, you can find them in grocery stores, wine shops. That's just a great idea for everywhere. appetizers, is yeah. to, especially for your guests that are coming in from out of town, mm -hmm. to kind of introduce them to some local yeah. Virginia foods. Because yeah, there's a lot of history with Thanksgiving in Virginia. And for Virginia True. foods, just look for the check that it says Virginia Finest, uh -huh. and that'll tell you that that brand is uh, actually a Virginia food, which is fun. So. Very cool. Okay, so you said so. you wanted to start off with sparkling wine, is that right? Mm -hmm. We have a um, Tabo Janison, which is a sparkling wine from Virginia, and it is absolutely delightful. Mm. Okay, okay. I'm gonna lift really, this up a little bit yeah. and get it in the light so yeah. we can get a good picture. And of that's that. a great way to welcome your guests to hand them a glass of champagne or sparkling wine, rather, this would be from Virginia, to say just because you're here, that yeah. is cause for celebration. Oh, I like the way you think, <laughs> Becky. Oh. Yes. And we All have right. um, Virginia peanuts, which um, Hearth and Plow, or Plow and Hearth, rather. Mm -hmm. uh, they have nut mixes and different flavors of Virginia peanuts, which are delicious. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is open a can. Oh, I and like anybody that. can do that. Easy. <laughs> Pop the champagne and open up a can. Okay, there you go. what else do you have? Well, um, I found these um, Firehook crackers, mm -hmm. and these are just absolutely delicious, and I've been getting them for a while, but not realizing they're actually made in Virginia. Mm, okay. And this is a cinnamon fire hook cracker with a um, little piece of white cheddar cheese and Virginia um, peach chutney. Yes, yes, yes. Oh and it's gosh. just um, Thanksgiving, if you can remember, sweet and tart is always a good combination okay. for Thanksgiving. Sweet and tart, mm -hmm. got it. Mm. So it has a little bit of tart from the peach and the cheese mm. and a little bit of sweet from the cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then I have a regular um, or fire hook cracker that uh, have goat cheese and pine nuts that have been toasted. And this is Virginia honey, a little bayer. And you just squeeze that over and you've got a wonderful hors d'oeuvre that takes like two seconds to make. Oh man, oh, wow. that's great. Okay. okay. What, what mm -hmm. do you have over here? What well, is this? these are, now these were lucky to get here because I, I love these things so much I had to <laughs> <laughs> keep them in the freezer to make me not eat them. Uh -huh. But these are sausage biscuits from Tonell's and you can order these ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're going pretty fast these days because they are absolutely delicious. Okay. Um, okay. But I love those. Cut them in half so they're just a little bite. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And then this is a, again, Plow and Hearth, which mm, they have a wonderful selection. It's a smokehouse bacon cheddar and I made a little cheese ball out of it, but you just mix it with cream cheese. Oh. And it's so simple. Oh my I love gosh, these this simple is so ideas. easy. Yes, and then what, what's here, Becky? What Those is that? are Alexis, um, she had needful things uh, years ago, and she has continued to make some of her wonderful cheese wafers. And <clears throat> these are um, very popular. You can find them at Mr. Bill's Wine Store. Mm -hmm. uh, you can find them at Tonell's. Uh-huh, mm -hmm. okay. And then they also have these little Ooh. cheese wafers that are um, made in Richmond. And there's a lot of really nice Virginia foods that are based in Richmond. What a great idea. Yes. I love that. So much that you can find here out of Virginia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. All right, so we're, when we come back with you, you're going to share a couple of cocktail ideas. Mm -hmm. Really good cocktails. And okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we're that. I'm excited. Bubblybee.net for more information on all of this. Thank you. Many of you are busy preparing for guests this holiday season, and one way to step up your holiday parties is with a great cocktail. Yeah, we have Becky Ellis back. She's from bubblybee.net, and you have a great recipe for us. Mm -hmm. But first, you have a super secret recipe for cranberry cocktail garnish. Mm -hmm. Why is it super secret? Well, because nobody knows except for one other person, and now everybody now knows. Now everybody knows. <laughs> but I love it. Uh, cranberries are often, can be just a tiny bit bitter to me. Sure. So I like to um, get them to be sweet, and again, 
tart. Mm -hmm. um, and so I take cranberries and I cook them in a little bit of orange juice. And then I kind of bury them in um, pomegranate liqueur. Mm -hmm. and, okay. um, Oops, sorry. and I put them in the freezer. So I keep them in the freezer until I need to use them. Mm -hmm. And then I roll them in fine sugar. And fine sugar is um, perfect for cocktails because it's just the right consistency uh -huh. and it doesn't have those big granules. So mm -hmm. we're just going to take one of these little guys and just, it, it's already in the pomegranate liqueur and roll it so it's all festive and pretty. In and sugar? Mm -hmm. More in sugar. The, in the fine sugar. Okay. And then that makes a really pretty little garnish for your drink. Mm -hmm, that's really pretty. Or you can just put them on the side of like with your turkey and go around your turkey, something like that uh -huh. would be pretty too. Thank you. And y'all can enjoy that. And can so we eat this? I was going to say, eat that. I was yeah. going <laughs> to put it in the drink, but no, I can you just can eat it. You can actually just eat it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. And you'll taste a little bit of the liqueur in there. Yeah. That is delicious. That's really good. That's fun. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh, yes. Yeah. That is great. Okay, so okay. then you're also sharing a cocktail recipe. Right. This is a. Um, Virginia apple brandy mimosa. And what mm. you do on your little uh, rim of your um, flute is just put a little bit of Cairo syrup, and it might, this might drip a little bit, but that's okay. And some fine sugar with cinnamon, and that makes your rim. Okay. Oh, okay. Pretty. pretty. Beautiful. And then, um, at, this is a apple brandy from Virginia. Okay. And um, where did you pick that up? At the ABC store. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And then uh, that one part of that to two parts of. Is that Bold Rock? Mm -hmm. I love Bold mm -hmm. Rock. Okay. Two parts of the hard apple cider. I got this cute little shaker. That is really and adorable. Yeah, adorable Russell's. Just, oopsie, shake it up a little bit. And then you just strain that into the glass. And then you just add your, I'm doing a Prosecco today. Okay. But you could add any bubbly that you like. Cava is also real good. Mm -hmm. Look at your pro. Yeah, there's a pro right there. Oh my gosh. Well, that was really simple. Yeah. And then you just add a little bit of apple to, um, for a garnish. Or you could add a cinnamon stick, something like that. And that's your little mimosa. That's adorable yeah. and really, really easy. And I found it's a real girly drink, but actually the guys the guys like, like it, it too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of yeah. course they yeah. do. Yeah. This is great. So that was all with local everything, right? Mm -hmm. It was um, local uh, brandy. Then, you could, of course, you can get the local cider. Mm -hmm. um, and you could use a, the uh, Virginia sparkling, too, for that and make it all Virginia mimosa. Okay. Right. So that was kind yeah. of local was kind of your theme for this. Right. I yeah. love it. Yeah. I love it, too. Yeah. yeah. And then don't forget to. And to um, this is fun. The cranberries in here are fresh cranberries. And this is infused vodka. And so often when I bought a big jar of. Um, or bottle of cranberry juice, I'd scoot it to the back of the refrigerator and end up throwing it away and wasting it. So with this, it's just um, fresh cranberries, a little bit of orange peel, a little bit of sugar and water, and just shake it up, put it in the fridge. After a couple days, it'll start to infuse and it'll be ready to drink. Mm -hmm. You can make Cosmos, you can make cranberry fizz, yeah. cocktails, but you can have it in the refrigerator ready to go. And then it'll, that'll take you all the way through you know, Christmas or um, you know, the December or holidays. Or Thanksgiving Day. Yeah. <laughs> about my family. <laughs> what I a great this. idea. Yeah. I love all of these. All right, so if we want more information, we can go bubblybee.net right. for more. Uh -huh. Yes. Becky, thank you so thank much. You. And happy Thanksgiving to you. Oh, I'm just thankful to be here today. Oh, thank that's you. sweet. All right.